Regular season in college basketball beginning to wind down. We continue to look at the bubble and things of that nature. Two teams continue to chase undefeated seasons. Gonzaga, perfect 20-0. Baylor, who's been paused for a bit, is 17-0. Next best record in America, the most wins in America, just you know, the Bruins of Belmont. Thank them. No big deal. 22-1. They won 19 games in a row. <laughs> America needs to know I took more L's trying to connect with Casey Alexander, Belmont's coach, than his basketball team has suffered all year. They got more wins than anybody with 22. Casey, thank you for your patience before we begin. Sincerely, thank you. No, it's great to be here. No problem. All right. This is the season of COVID. We understand this. But if you could take our viewers and me, frankly, back to the fall and what you all dealt with before anything even got started that makes what you guys are doing just hard to even comprehend. Yeah, it's hard to explain. You know, our, our guys showed up first of September and from first of September until literally the second week of December, we were a mess. Uh, more days in quarantine and with contact tracing than we had on the practice floor. It was a tough start. Um, it makes where we are right now feel pretty sweet. We try to watch you. We got about four or five TVs, but you guys are always so far ahead, it's hard to justify keeping you guys on the TV. And I go back to last March, right? You guys had won the OVC. You're waiting for the bracket like we all are. And there's a, an incredible disappointment in not getting to play. And I understand that there's great concern about staying healthy, particularly for you guys after all you've been through. I just wonder, Casey, what you think philosophically about these conversations about conference tournaments and whether or not teams want to opt out. Like, just sort of what the – not for you – necessarily, but just for college basketball, what do you think of that idea? I don't like it. I, I don't understand, you know, with all the our players, teams across the country have had to go through, I can't imagine that there are, that there are young men out there that don't want to play games. And, uh, right. and, you know, we've got a great run going. We don't have any reason to play in the conference tournament right now. We're clearly the number right. one team in our league as far as the standings are concerned, but our guys want to play. Uh, they want to earn their way into the NCAA tournament, and that's still in front of us. I want to get your reaction to this. I saw a headline in the Tennessean. Now, I got great respect for Coach Bird down there. He was a guest on our show a number of times. The question was this. Is this Belmont's best team? How do you react to that question about this group you're coaching? Well, Belmont's had a lot of really good teams. And so if we're mentioned in that same conversation, then, uh, then that's good for us. Uh, these guys, like I mentioned, they, they, you know, it's the ones who came before us that are a big part of what we're doing right now. So whether we're the best or not, insignificant to me i'm just glad that uh, belmont continues to win and i can be a part of it well you're a big part of it but like when a guy like rick bird's a coach as long as he is i mean there's a thumbprint that you know doesn't go away easily and yet you had been a head coach before so i mean clearly you know what you're doing on your own i just wonder how you establish your own identity while wanting to embrace the very best of what belmont has been through the years well, I was lucky to be a part of the program before. I played for Coach Bird right. back in the early 90s, and I was assistant for 16 years, so 20 years in the program. And that familiarity helped me walk in from day one and be comfortable with a job. I didn't try to replace a legend. He is who he is. He's won 800 games plus, and I'm never going to get there. So just try my best to do the best <laughs> I can and honor him in the process. And it's been good. Understood. Well, listen, as I said off the top, you've been exceedingly patient. If you had intended to look at Jacksonville State tape to get ready for Thursday, I ate up about a half hour of your night trying to get this thing working. So I appreciate your time, and I enjoy watching you guys do what you do. Belmont runs one heck of a basketball program. Congrats. Uh, thanks a lot. It's all good. I appreciate you doing it.